We're going to show the uh, collateral and recurrent arteries that come off of the brachial artery, the radial, and the ulnar artery. <laughs> so, and keep in mind that the brachial artery starts um, at the inferior border of the teres major muscle, at the tendon of the teres major. Uh, before that, uh, we'll have the axillary artery. Then, brachial artery, and that bifurcates about one centimeter below uh, the crease in the elbow. Oops. And that's what we're going to start with, but from the top to the uh, bifurcation, that would be the brachial artery. Now we're going to end up with four collateral arteries that go down and four recurrent arteries which come up and anastomose together with the collateral arteries. To start, I'm going to start kind of simple here. And of course the first one that comes off here is the profundus brachii also known as the deep brachial artery. And we're going to call that, just to start the mnemonics, there's two mnemonics here. We'll call it Mr. Deep. And that kind of sets the tone for the more complicated mnemonic we're going to have to help us remember the collateral and uh, recurrent arteries. Here we're going to make use of the M and the R. And see the way I have this drawn here. We'll make this the uh, radial artery here and the ulnar artery here. So we're looking at a right arm. So this would be medial, this would be lateral. The acronyms, the uh, M and the R, go from medial to lateral. So this right here would be M. And this will stand for the middle collateral artery. And over here is R for the radial collateral artery. And uh, those make up two of the four collateral arteries. The other two collateral arteries, we're going to have a superior and an inferior. And these would be, got the superior ulnar collateral artery. And the inferior ulnar collateral artery. this one. And this makes up half of the second acronym or mnemonic that we're going to use. And it's a simmer pair. So we're going to go S I M R. And just like Mr. you read it left to right, simmer, but it goes medial to lateral. So we have S, I, M, R, S, I, M, R. The recurrent arteries pair. Write that directly below simmer, P, A, I, R. And at the top we have the collateral arteries. On the bottom we have the recurrent arteries. And to like remember you know, the first time you run across re the word recurrent, it's kind of hard to understand. But the blood is flowing down to the tips of the fingers, right? So it's going in this direction. So that's kind of with the current. Now if any blood's going to turn around and go back up, 
I think of that as against the current or recurrent. And on the ulnar side, we'll have, starting with the P, a posterior ulnar recurrent artery. Right there in there. And just like uh, this points out, S goes with P, superior goes with posterior. There's the P. Then we're going to have the anterior ulnar collateral artery, recurrent artery. And that's going to anastomose with the inferior ulnar collateral. is the interosseous recurrent and I have to finish that one up but because it's going to be behind the interosseous membrane here so but that's going to anastomose with the middle collateral artery I and M and then you have the radial recurrent which anastomoses with the radial collateral This one here, like I said, is the interosseous recurrent. Now, we just have to fill a little bit in with the interosseous recurrent. Yeah, what's kind of neat here is we've got the four collateral arteries going down, and then we've got the four recurrent arteries, P, A, I, R, simmer pair, collateral, recurrent, and just match up the letters, and that's what anastomosis together. It's a pretty easy way to keep it straight. Um, so four collateral, four recurrent, and then we're going to have four different interosseous arteries down here. Uh, the first one we have is the common interosseous artery, and it's going to end up going through Part of it will go through the uh, uh, interosseous membrane. There'll be an opening there. Uh, one part will go down behind the interosseous membrane. That would be the posterior interosseous artery. One part of it will stay in front of the interosseous membrane. That's the anterior interosseous membrane. And then going back up would be the recurrent interosseous membrane. And the part that branches off is the common interosseous, ar interosseous artery. So we have common right there, anterior, Oops. and posterior. Pretty easy to remember. I mean, the one that's in in front of the membrane is anterior. The one behind it is posterior. The one that's common to all those is the uh, common interosseous. And the one that branches off and goes behind the membrane is the recurrent interosseous membrane. The one that travels up. Um, that's pretty much it, Mr. Deep. Just kind of get you started. Of course, this is the deep brachial or profundus brachii artery. And use the M and the R to get middle and radial. Jot down your, I guess it's like a mnemonic here, simmer pair, S-I-M-R, pair, P-A-I-R. That tells you which one's anastomose together. And good luck.